Kia ora, good evening. The sister who went travelling with the runaway millionaires has surrendered to police in Auckland. They met her at Auckland Airport where they've been questioning her all afternoon. Libby Middlebrook's there live with some exclusive pictures. Libby. Mike Araha Haring flew into Auckland International Airport at around lunchtime when detectives were waiting for her, eager for some answers. Araha Haring was granted enough time to smoke a cigarette shortly after surrendering to police. Three News understands she'd first made her own way to Hong Kong Airport and phoned her family asking for help. I am aware that she caught a flight from Hong Kong, which I understand was paid for by her family. Um, at the moment she has been spoken to by police officers and I can't tell you why she came back. Haring disappeared around two weeks ago after Westpac Bank accidentally arranged a $10 million overdraft for an account belonging to her sister Cara and boyfriend Leo Gao. Police are now urging them to follow Araha's lead and give themselves and the money up. They are young people, 29 and 30. They both have family members living still in New Zealand. At some stage they may wish to return to this country. If they do not come before then to sort it out, then we'll be waiting for them upon their return. The couple are travelling with Haring's seven-year-old daughter, Lena, pictured here on the right-hand side of the photo. They've been traced as far as Hong Kong, but police won't say where they believe the fugitives are now located. But they have started to prepare documents for a formal request for assistance from the Chinese government. This is the first step in a methodical look at this serious investigation. I urge the two to reflect on the opportunity that they have been given and make arrangements to come back to New Zealand. BP has now removed its signs and tanks from the service station Gal was running before he made off with 3.8 million of Westpac's money. When the crew shooting these pictures approached Araha to ask for an interview, she and the detective with her quickly ducked back inside. Mike, just how much Araha knows about the missing millions or her sister and Leo Gao's whereabouts is still unknown. Police have been questioning her here behind me now for around six hours and we understand she'll be released to her family at some stage later this evening. Libby, thank you.